It doesn't matter whether you've been in comics for two weeks, two months, two years, 20 years, you're probably asking yourself the same question as to whether now is the time to buy comics or not. In this video, I'm gonna provide you with five practical tips to help you to figure out whether now is the right time. Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. My goal with this video is to offer you some practical tips to figure out whether now is a good time to actually buy comics. The truth of the matter is that it's a little tough for me to tell you what you should do because the reality is I don't know what your financial situation is. I don't know how much disposable income you have. I certainly don't know where you are in life, much less literally where you are in this world as you watch this video. But with that said, I'm going to attempt to offer up some practical tips, some things for you to think about to figure out whether now makes sense for you. The very first tip that I wanna talk about is perception versus reality. Our perception right now is that every single comic is expensive. The reality is that that's kinda of sorta of true. <laughs> it's kinda of sorta of true. We, we think that every single book is selling for well above FMV. And because we see some books that are performing that way, our perception becomes that everything is overpriced right now. But that's not necessarily the case. It might just be that the books you're looking at are overpriced and are hot, possibly because they are attached to a movie or a TV show or some rumor that's out there that is partly driving up the price. There are some sectors and segments of this market that are not necessarily experiencing that type of increase in price. So for example, golden age books are not necessarily moving the same way that your silver or your modern age comics are. And so if you are open to golden age, that could potentially be a way for you to go. The other tip is the second tip that I'll get to in just a second. But the reality again is that not everything is overpriced. It just feels that way. The second tip that I wanna offer is think about the blue ocean. To the point that I made with the first tip, our perception isn't necessarily our reality. But part of it is that we are oftentimes drawn to those books that are in the news, that are associated with some kind of hype or speculation or show. And as a result of that, those books are very much red ocean books. Those books are having their prices go up as a result of everyone else looking at those exact same books. So sellers are marking those books up because they know that they're hot. Buyers are looking at those books because of the excitement around them. And that is what, again, is driving up the prices. Now, while everyone, for example, is maybe focused on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? All of the Sam Wilson books. There are tons of other comics out there that people are not paying attention to. If you're talking about X-Men and Spider-Man and Fantastic Four, then yeah, those books are probably pretty pricey. But again, there's a lot of other books over the last 80 years that are out there and available for us to pick up and we don't have to pay crazy prices for them. And what I've just illustrated here is the concept of red ocean versus blue ocean. And I have videos here on the channel that go into a lot more detail on this philosophy. But at the end of the day, think about it this way. If everybody is talking about a book or a character, more than likely that book, those characters are going to be high dollar. The books that people and the characters that people are not talking about are probably going to be your better opportunities to be able to pick something up because no one is focused on those things. The question becomes, where is your blue ocean? The third tip that I want to offer up is that you have to think about where you are shopping. If you are going to buy comics from eBay, books are going to be super expensive. There is no doubt about that. Books are going to be marked up. Why? 
because it is a large marketplace, there are fees that are associated with that marketplace and people want to make as much money as they possibly can. So if you're shopping on eBay, you're probably going to be paying high prices just because of the platform in which you are choosing to buy. If you have the ability to buy books offline, then you may be in a much better place and you may be able to find books that are much more affordable by either going to a local comic shop in your area or if you have to drive an hour or so to go to that comic shop, you may actually be able to find better deals in comic shops or possibly in your local area from private sellers. And again, I have a ton of different videos here on the channel that can identify different hunting grounds for you to be able to buy books besides going to eBay. If you're just using eBay, you're probably always going to pay top dollar. The fourth tip that I want to offer is that you don't always have to spend money to get comics. And what I mean by that is that we are all in the same boat, right? We all are going after books and those books do have some higher price tags associated with them because there's a huge influx of people that are coming into the hobby and yeah, their prices are going up. But if you're thinking about getting a comic just using cash, you may be limiting yourself. My point here is that you want to be open to possibly doing some trades and maybe not trading with an LCS because they have to discount whatever you trade so that they can make a profit, but trading books with your fellow community members. There are folks on Instagram that I trade books with. There are folks in the local area that I've also traded with as well. There could be people in your local area that you can actually do a trade with where you are valuing those books at a certain dollar amount and just exchanging book for books or whatever, or even exchanging a little bit of cash. My point here is that don't just think about acquisition through the buying and selling of comics. Trading is a viable option as well. In fact, there is a whole chat room on the Discord server for the channel that is dedicated to trading. Head over there, see if you can find a, another comic book soldier to actually trade comic books with. So the fifth tip is that you want to be aware of fair market values as well as the most recent sales price for comics. And what I mean by that is, yes, there are comics out there that are affordable. There are comics out there that are also expensive. But you also have to keep in mind that it that there are increases in the values of comics. And so while you may look at one comic and feel like that book is overpriced, it might actually look like an incredible bargain fast forward one year or two years down the road. You may look at that as a true bargain. And there are books in my collection now that I was cheap on when I bought them originally. And I did not buy the best possible grade because I was being cheap. And now looking back, I wish that I had spent the extra couple of bucks to get that book because of the way that the market looks right now. My point here is that you do have to pay attention to the fair market values. You have to pay attention to the most recent sales data for books you are thinking about buying. And just be aware of what is happening with those books and ask yourself, is the book truly overpriced based upon what the future may hold? And it's impossible for any of us to know what the future is going to be, but you can ask yourself some questions around the book or the character that you're thinking about buying. Is there a movie that is coming? Is there a TV show? What might like that lead to? Are there more people coming into the hobby, right? Ask yourself some of these questions because what you may realize is that today's overpriced book might be tomorrow's bargain. So there you have it. Those are my five practical tips and things for you to think about as you evaluate whether now is the time to buy comics. Personally, I believe that there are bargains to be had. They are everywhere. You just have to look for them and you have to use the data that you have access to to make sure that you are making as informed a decision as you possibly can. 
With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I certainly want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind because it's good for the algorithm. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.